Welcome to the PyBoy DMG assembly tutorial. Everything needed to completely assemble a PyBoy DMG is included in the box as shown here. Next we'll take a look at the individual parts needed for assembly. Here are the parts from the box you'll need to assemble a PyBoy DMG. The Raspberry Pi is user supplied and not included in the box. The parts are the case, the ports faceplate, the blank HDMI faceplate, the power switch, the battery, a Raspberry Pi, and the included screwdriver. Optionally, an HDMI adapter, HDMI faceplate, and screws. The first step in the assembly is to remove the Pi Boy's back cover. Flip the Pi Boy over and using the included screwdriver, remove the six screws holding the case back on. Now that the screws have been removed, gently lift the back cover off of the Pi Boy. Next, the fan board must be moved out of the way. Gently lift up on the screen cable and remove it. Now, using a screwdriver, remove the four screws holding the fan board in place. Now that the screws have been removed, pull the fan board back and out of the way. Locate the appropriate faceplate for the pie being used. Place the faceplate on the end of the pie. Next, we'll install the Pi in the case. The critical part of this operation is ensuring the SD card adapter is seated firmly in the Pi's SD socket. Lower the Pi in the case, lining up the adapter and the SD socket on the Pi. Ensure it's firmly seated. Now, lower the Pi onto the mounting nubs. Push the pie down on its mounting nubs, making sure it's securely seated. If no HDMI adapter is being installed, install the blank faceplate. If you've purchased the optional HDMI adapter, follow these instructions. Grab the HDMI adapter and install the faceplate on it. Insert the adapter into the correct port on the Pi. Once the adapter is inserted, lower the adapter in so that the faceplate fits in the case of the Pi. Now use the two included screws to fasten the adapter in place. Make sure to not over tighten the screws. Next, the fan board must be reinstalled. Line the header on the fan board up with the header pins on the Pi and press into place. Make sure the fan board is firmly seated in place. 
When the fan board is installed properly, the four mounting holes will line up with the standoffs. Use the four screws removed previously to fasten the fan board in place. Do not over tighten the screws. The screen cable must now be reinstalled. Square the cable up with the header and snap into place. Next, the power switch must be installed. Note the T-shape on the power switch. It's installed with the T-shape upside down. Grab the power switch and note the orientation. Now slide the switch into the case so that it fits in the slot and engages the physical power switch. The internals of the pie boy are now fully assembled and it's time to close up the case. Place the back cover on, making sure all of the face plates line up with the cover. Now use the six screws removed at the beginning of this tutorial to fasten the cover in place. Do not over tighten the screws. The final step in the assembly is to insert the battery. There is a header in the battery compartment marked positive and negative. The red wire on the battery goes to the positive connection. Open the battery compartment. Connect the battery connector to the header. And insert the battery. Finally, install the cover. The Pie Boy assembly is now complete.